Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, good okay. Good to see you though. Good, good. Steve, can you talk us through the events of the last 48 hours from your perspective? Did I tour's departure come as a surprise? Yes, it did. Um, you know, I have to be I have to be honest, it was uh, a really difficult day yesterday. Uh, a very emotional day, um, but then today uh, the players have trained well, and we look forward to to the weekend. Steve Gibson has talked about I saw maybe being a little bit tired that he needed a break. Is that the vibe that you got? No, no, not really. I mean, Ito's, uh you know, the work that he's put into the football club for for three and a half years has been incredible. I've been with him for two and a half years, and. Um, you know, I've really, really enjoyed not just his work and, and assisting him, but also his company. You know, he's a really, really genuine guy. Um, and, um, you know, in the end, football, you know, it is about results. We all know that. I know that. Um, but would never, ever have a bad word to say about Ito in terms of, of what he's done for the football club for these previous three and a half years. Had a rift developed between Ito and the players? No, not at all, no. I mean, the players, like they were this morning, they always train well. They're probably uh, the best group of players I've ever worked with in terms of their application, their attitude towards everything they do. So um, I think we're like many teams that haven't, haven't had a bit of luck, a bounce of the ball, and I'm sure that'll come in the coming weeks. What have you been told then by the owner? Very brief, you know, just uh, enjoy it, get on with it, um, and that's what I've done. I've, I've not really had a long conversation with the chairman. Um, I've known Steve a long time. We have a good relationship, um, and and that's what, you know, from from last night, from this morning, that's what I aim to do. Would you like the job on a permanent basis? I, all, I've, all I want to do is... is Prepare the team for Sunday, and um, I'm, I'm looking... I know it's an obvious answer, but that is... It's as much as is on my mind at this moment in time. Craig Shakespeare was in a, a similar situation at Leicester a few weeks ago, and he talked about how he felt he could do the job on a long-term basis. Do you feel the same way? I'm very confident in what I've done. I've been in football for a long time now. I've been coaching. I started at Middlesbrough back in 2001. Um, so I'm confident in what I can do in terms of uh, my ability as a coach. So... Uh, Craig's done a fantastic job, he's a great guy. If I can do what he's doing, then we'll all be pleased. You brought Joe Jordan in already, is that a sign that you could be around for a, for a while? What's the situation with him? Why did you bring him in? Is it a short-term Joe's, Joe's, a, Joe's a great football guy and I've known Joe a long time. I've done coaching courses with him. Um, he brings a wealth of experience in terms of management and uh, coaching. He's worked at the highest level um, with Harry Redknapp for a long, long time. And uh, I've kept in touch with him simply because, you know, in football you make com I have conversations with different people, and 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 Joe is somebody that uh, I trust, and he'll he'll have a big impact with the players. So what have you said to him? Is he coming in for one game, two games, till the end of the season? Joe lives in Bristol. When I made the phone call, he was in the car. He was it. He was here six hours later. So that tells you everything about Joe. Joe. In terms of the game, then. This weekend, will you change the approach? As I said earlier, the players the players train really well every day. There's never a problem with their attitude towards the work. Um, it's obvious to everybody that we need to score a goal, and we need to win a game. Um, everybody has different ideas in football. That's where it is. It's a very opinionated game. Um, I see myself as being. A creative coach, and uh, you know, slowly but surely, uh, I know that I'm capable of drip feeding ideas into the group that will um, pay dividends. Hi, Steve. Rob from Premier League Productions. Hi, Rob. Okay. Um, what sort of uh, response are you looking for from the players and I guess the crowd? Just positive, you know, and and I felt that in the building this morning. 
even walking up and down the corridors, in the breakfast room, on the training ground. And I have to say, I think the, the supporters this season have been absolutely first class. The atmosphere at the Riverside has been rocking and um, it took a long time to get us back in there. And I think, well, I know that everybody wants to stay there. Um, so just a positive attitude, lots of smiling faces. Um, you know, I just think and uh, to create a hard working, enjoyable environment breeds success. Are you pleased to hear that Jose Mourinho has kind of accepted defeat? <laughs> Uh, listen, he's the best coach in the world, in my opinion, so uh, it'll be a tough, tough game and um, uh, one we're all looking forward to. Yeah, how impressed have you been with Manchester United recently? Good, yeah, they, they, they're very good. They've got a top coach, they've got top players, they're very well organised, they have pace, they have technical ability, they've played a lot of games, obviously, recently, um, and they're going well in, in both in the league and the cup competitions this season. Can you capitalise on that, the fact they have had a number of games? Because that seems to be his main issue at the moment. Yeah, I think um, you know the fact that, that we have had a free week uh, has to be a benefit for us. Um, so if we can use that, then great. You touched on how long you've been coaching and been associated with Middlesbrough on and off. Is it fair to say you've kind of served your time? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's something I've always wanted to do. Uh, I have had opportunities in the past. I've never felt they were quite right. Um, and I owe a lot to Middlesbrough Football Club because, you know, when you start out in your career, um, to be given an opportunity is everything you need, but then you've got to grasp it. And uh, I've waited patiently and uh, I'm very, very confident that I'll be successful. Do you see yourself as sort of a manager or a head coach? Is there a difference now? That I think the head coach title has come in now simply because the management job is so difficult and people can take a lot of weight off your shoulders um, in terms of that responsibility, so uh, coaching is what I enjoy. And just finally for me, being from the area as you say and, and being associated with the club for so long, is this something of a, a, a dream job for you, a big, obviously a big opportunity? Of course, yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it's a massive opportunity and uh, I'll keep repeating what I'm really, really looking forward to. Thank you very much. Thank you. So you kind of before yesterday and after yesterday, do you still maintain the belief that what you've got in that changing room is enough to steer clear of trouble? Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the players understand uh, where we are and what we need to do to get out of the situation we're in. But they also realise that, you know, we've played some really, really good football. We've we've played well against a lot of the top teams. Uh, we've shown fighting spirit only the other week against Everton. Uh, so they're more than capable, and it's. Uh, you know they they have a a real tight off like any team off the back of a promotion a, a real tight knit group and uh, and togetherness. So one of the advantages of your situation is you know all the people, the personalities. You know them as footballers. You know what was working, and perhaps you've got an idea of maybe what wasn't working so well. Yeah, I think um, I have a clear view of exactly what's needed, and um, and and that's what I aim to deliver. Um, in these situations when there's managerial changes, usually what you find is that the, the home crowd in the next game is going to come out fighting, and that's surely something that you can use. Uh, yeah, but I wouldn't. I think the crowd have been like that all season. I think from the the first minute they've been right behind the team, and um, as you say, they, that will only continue um, for the rest of the season. Okay. Steve David Spurman from PA. Um, can, can I just first of all check on your injury situation, please? Um, what have we got? Gisted is is close, um, and Bernardo trained this morning, so that's a bonus after last Saturday. Um, this weekend, obviously George Friend, uh, Callum Chambers, and Danny Ayala will probably miss again. Was, was Rudy is which happens at Ham, Hamstring? I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, Steve, when you spoke to the chairman, did, did he give you any remit? Was his remit keep us up? No, he was. He was as brief as get on with it, enjoy it, uh, and, and organise a team for the for the weekend. And and that's as much as I wanted to hear. I, I you know I didn't go into anything more than that. And and that's where I am with it all.
and quite relaxed with that. If, if it was to go to the end of the season and you were able to do that, then what would that mean to you? No, it would be the biggest single achievement I've ever done in my life, you know. Um, but I think I sit here and I keep using the word confident and I do believe that we will stay in the Premier League. I feel that I'm capable of delivering it. I think the players are capable of delivering it and I know we've got the support from everybody else in the club and the supporters will play a massive part in that. I mean, this, this opportunity has come about obviously because of the Pythons and Patrick. Would, would you around this time have been looking to take the step into the management in your own right? I think they would, yeah. They, they, it was very, very close for me, you know. Um, it's not ideal, the circumstances, the way it's happened, but uh, yeah, it was um, around the corner, should I say. When you, you had a, a game at the, the helm in very unusual circumstances last season, what, what's different this time around? <laughs> All I want to do is look forward. And I know it's a stock answer, but that's how I think. I'm quite a positive guy in anything I do. Um, and the most important thing on my mind is the group of players tomorrow morning and preparing for the game on Sunday. Um, you talked about Jose Mourinho earlier. Um, you've been very impressed with Roy Keane. You seem particularly impressed last night. Have you, have you seen this? I haven't. I haven't. But that's Roy. He's he's quite opinionated. Hey, and he was a top player and he was a good manager. You know, he managed up the road at Sunderland, did very well. So this game of football is all about opinions and uh, highly respected people have strong opinions. Um, I'll just ask you about Stuart. There's been a lot of sentiment about Stuart down in, in the last few weeks or last few months. How do you get the best out of Stuart and, and you know what he can bring to this, this football? Yeah, Stuart's um, he's a Middlesbrough boy, you know, he loves the club. He's, he's born and bred in Middlesbrough and he's, it's his town club and um, he's a talented footballer. And Stuart is, um, is somebody I've known a long time. Um, so I know how he works, um, and he's a big part of of the um, the rest of the season.